LabVIEW in NXT Part 4, the sound sensor. Go to your brick and let's test out the sound sensor on your brick. Going to view and let's check the sound decibels. I'm on port 1. So you can see even when the room is quiet, and I'm not talking when I'm actually doing this, there's a little bit of noise that gives you a percent. And maybe it's hard to see, but every time I clap, the sound goes up much higher, maybe to 60 or 70. All right, let's go to LabVIEW and see if we can write a program using the sound sensor. So almost like our touch sensor program, I'm going to have my robot drive forward. And then I'm going to have it wait for a sound. And I'm going to have it wait for a loud sound like a clap. I need that sound to go away, so after that I'm going to wait for the sound to become soft again. And instead of driving forward, after this clap I'm going to have it drive backwards. I'm going to have a clap again. When that happens, it's going to know to start all over again. I'm going to want this to loop over and over. I'm going to have to wire things up in the correct order here. So after we drive forward, I want it to check to make sure that it does the clapping. And then I want it to go to driving backward. And then I want it to check the clapping again. I need to tell the motor blocks which motors to turn. My All my top motor blocks are going to be the port B, and the bottom ones are going to be port C. I need to make sure I wire them up correctly. After that, I also need to make sure that I set the port for the sound sensor as well. And I'm actually using port 1, so I need to give that to each one of the sound sensor blocks. And I think I'm going to go for a loud sound over 80. My clapping is usually over 80. And I need to give that also to the other loud block. And make my blocks go back in reverse here. All right, I need to add a constant to my loop so that it won't stop. I'm going to download it to the brick. and test it out. 